Hey folks, Chef Jay Barnard here and this is Late to Plate, our fifth episode. Uh, who do we have on the camera today? We got the... Brent Lundy. The great and talented Brent yes. Lundy on the camera today. Helping out because... Helping out because we also have a real special day going on today. Uh, one of our team members is celebrating his 55th birthday. Tornado, are you 55 or 23? 23. 23. He's 23. Yes. So, hey, Tornado, we want to take a moment right now. Uh, I got I got a, a, a band in here for yeah. you, so we're going to sing Happy Birthday, Tornado. We got the 18 Sunnyside Road oh. Band. Come on up, boys. So we got uh, the great and talented Finn, and we got the great and talented Axel. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to sing a little Happy Birthday to you, Tornado. So Happy Birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear tornado. Happy birthday to you and many more. All right, uh, thanks there, guys. Great job. Uh, and tonight, when you're at the Silver Birch there, tornado, make sure you say hi to Kelly, okay? I bet you Kelly's watching. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Chef Kelly. Jay. Yeah, Brent says hi, too, Kelly. Okay, some, some great exciting things happened this week, eh, Brent? Uh, yes. So we had an exciting guest uh, by yesterday, which is, is, is it, it's actually an honor, isn't it? Yes, a very, uh, a very big honor. We had uh, Omafra. Yep. Omafra Ministry come by. Ministry of Agriculture. Yep, Ministry of Agriculture. Uh, and it seems to be that uh, Freshwater Cuisine could possibly be nominated for the Agra Food Innovation Excellence Award. Uh, which is what? The most innovative products of Ontario for 2016? Yes, that's correct. If, if for food product and product for, development. Yeah, for product development. So that is exciting. Uh, you know, news. everything that Freshwater Cuisine does is innovative. It is trendy. Uh, we're on the cusp of the best things in the world. And today is a really exciting day because I, I switched from doing walleye wings, which has been amazing. I showed mm -hmm. you four ways to do walleye wings. I could stay here for the rest of my life and show you how to do walleye wings, 350 ways. But I wanted to switch it up because why, Brent? Because we have an underappreciated fish here. That's what we do. That is undervalued, underused, and underappreciated, like Brent said. So this is the very talented, very sexy, very amazing whitefish. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you folks out there and viewers have seen whitefish before. Maybe you've caught whitefish before. Maybe you've smoked whitefish before. But all Brent and I know is that whitefish is very underutilized, correct? Absolutely, especially in this area where it, walleye is king. That's it. And, and, and that's the crazy thing about freshwater cuisine and what we do is that we bring the undervalued, underappreciated fish to the forefront mm -hmm. and we make sexy, amazing dishes. Yes. So today what we're doing is we're doing uh, maple marinated uh, coconut crusted whitefish filet and we're also going to be doing local zucchini french fries so today we have for local we have the zucchinis we have the thyme we have the oregano we have the lemon balm we have this is amazing Brent did you see mm -hmm. that so this here came from Fifth Avenue Farms down at the farmers market today these are beautiful beautiful radish sprouts that I use for garnish on top you can put them in salads you can put them as garnish you can top them you can just eat them straight up they're amazing they grow back three times uh, all the herbs and vegetables came from our great friend Joe and his wife Rose. Joe even picked us blueberries today Thank for you, Joe. Thank blueberry you, Rose. compote that goes on top of our whitefish fillet, which is phenomenal. Wonderful. Okay, you guys want to kick her in high gear? You bet. Okay, so Mr. Brent Lundy cleaned this. How sexy is that, <laughs> eh? Isn't that nice? Okay, so this is a whitefish fillet, folks. This is absolutely beautiful. I don't know why this isn't getting used more in the industry. Uh, in the in the service industry in the restaurants um, you know for me when when I launched this product in 2015 at the boathouse it mm -hmm. was phenomenal we yep. did steaks we did we did uh, uh, well we did steaks and we also did fillets mm -hmm. um, and the product went phenomenal didn't it? it it sure did it was a beautiful product. it took off so we take out the rib bone we've pulled out the pin bones so what you want to do is you want to take the pin bones out we used a pair of tweezers because mm -hmm. we're the tweezer kind of people yes. out here uh, so you want to take these pin bones out that are right here uh, and then what we do is this is simple This is how easy this is one fillet two fillet So look at that you get four fillets Out of one fillet is that crazy mm -hmm. very nice. Okay. This is how simple this is so what we do is we get a bag 
because I want to marinate this for 24 hours. So what I do, get the bag open, and now we can start putting the sexy ingredients in, Brent. Uh -huh. So what we got here, we got some maple syrup going in. Very nice. Ontario maple syrup. Oh, Ontario maple syrup. Beautiful. The finest, right? Yep. Isn't it nice that it's in a scotch? It is. I was very excited when I first came in. Yes. That. Yes. The <laughs> alcoholic is still using the scotch drinks. Isn't that sweet, eh? That's all right. Okay. So we also have some honey, which is exciting because I want to find somebody. If any of you folks out there have some local honey, please get a hold of us at jay at freshwatercuisine.com. I would love to use some local honey on the show. Our show is all about local, isn't Absolutely. it, Brent? It sure is. And showcasing who else is all local. We have some teriyaki sauce going in here too. Boom! Isn't that sexy? Eh? Then what do I do? Now I just throw some salt and pepper in there. Throw some pepper in there. And the other amazing one here I got is my good old buddy from Blue Haze Barbecue, Jason Thornbush. This is his uh, his spice line. This is his red eye rub. Uh, you know, I'm just using a little bit of it today. We're going to use it as a rub on a fish later on down the road in one of our episodes. But I just wanted to give a big shout out to Jason and Blue Haze uh, Barbecue and their catering. They got phenomenal catering. If you're in the Manitoba region and you're looking for catering, you're looking for Southern Barbecue, Jason's a guy to call. Give Jason a call. He's amazing. You know what I love best about this one? You know, because I'm addicted to this. You've seen me do this before. <laughs> I have. Right? Yes. That is amazing. The, the spice is so... I, well, I eat this all day long, don't I? Well, there's coffee in it. There's you know? coffee, so I'm addicted to coffee. <laughs> okay, so I take a little bit of this in there. Folks, this is how easy this is. Then we take the left... Then I take the fish. Boom. Take the fish. Boom. Take the fish. Boom. Take the fish. Boom. Grab some of our lemon balm. Take it off. Me, I throw that in a stock. I don't throw away anything, but today okay. it goes in there. Take some more off. So I'm using about two uh, two rings. Just give her a nice fine chop. Beautiful thing about this one is that Rose, she surprised me, eh? With this lemon balm spice because it just goes nicely with whitefish, eh? Mm -hmm. And how we're playing on the savor and sweet and on the sour. Boom, this just goes right in here too. Perfect. Yep, we like to uh, just slap it all in there. Boom, and then the other thing I do, Grab a little bit of oregano, a little bit of thyme. I don't cut these up, I just mm -hmm. toss these right in like that. Very nice. Then I get a little bit of water. Toss a little bit of water in there. I just have a sip of water. Yeah, too, absolutely. Right? Now how long is that going to marinate, Chef? Okay, so uh, we marinate this guy for 24 hours. I give her a little spin. Shaky, 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 mixy, 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 shaky, 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 mixy, mixy, mixy. Nice. It's also a workout. I'm sweating. It is. It's because I'm on a diet, eh? Okay. Boom. That's it right there. Tie this sucker in a knot. Unless you have a vacuum packer at home. Right. Or perhaps if you're at the 18 Sunnyside Road, us folks here will hook you up. That's it. How easy is that? Very easy. That's easy. Boom, marinade's happening, fish is in the marinade, it's starting to come together, it's marinating all beautiful, eh? Okay. Boom, we go in the fridge. It's not sitting for 24 hours, Brent. Okay. That's going in there somewhere. There we go, that's a good spot for it. Okay, so now we're going to move into the zucchini fries, which is exciting. We got uh, two types of zucchini, we got the yellow and the green. Joe's wife is amazing. I love fresh zucchinis. This is how easy this is, Brent. Mm -hmm. All you do is take the sides off. I take the seeds out. I don't like to keep the seeds because they don't seem to uh, deep fry as well. Okay. But this is just one zucchini, right? Mm -hmm. Look how many fries I'm going to get out of one zucchini. Very nice. So, boom, cut this in half. 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 Boom, these are like fries, right? This is healthy. Well, somewhat healthy, I guess, right? <laughs> Okay, that was one zucchini. Is that crazy? That's crazy. It is crazy. So then we have a, we have our station over here, Brent. So mm -hmm. uh, we have a three-way station going on, which is our flour, our egg, and then our... Uh, this is exciting. We're actually using one of our products today uh, on the show, which is happens to be in this Della. Okay, what's with all these alcoholic cups know. with the alcoholic? I, I don't know. Hmm. So we're drinking Stella today in our Cajun crumbs. <laughs> Anyhooch, 
So we have our Cajun crumbs. We're going to use our Cajun crumbs today. Folks, if you're looking for our crumbs, send us an email at sales at freshwatercuisine.com. We'll hook you up. We have cases, we have bags, we have skids. Whatever you want, we'll hook you up. So we're actually using one of our own products today in the show. Isn't that exciting, Brad? That is exciting. It's like I'm trying to cheers you or something, eh? With crumbs. <laughs> okay, so we add that in there. We add the crumbs in there. Mm -hmm. We just flip the... Uh, so we're just... We're just doing this together, right? I boom, see, boom, yeah. right? Into the into the egg we go. Boom, boom. I always just throw it right in. This was the thing I meant to talk to about uh, to uh, to Darren and Calvin about was to get because uh, I always have my back. Not that my backside's a bad thing, but uh, you know. Sure. Okay, so then we just mix this up oh, like I this, that, right? Huh? So it's just we're just coating it like if we we're gonna do fish. This is a crazy thing, eh? Then we just go from here. We go into the into the crumbs. Boom. Set your deep fryer up at uh, 350, and they're good to deep fry. Boom, just like that, eh? We also have original crumbs, so you could do these in original if you wanted, or you could use whatever kind of crumbs you want. It's just, you know, it's our show, so we're using our crumbs. Good idea? Uh, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> I think so, too. Okay, so, man, this is how easy this is. How easy is this, eh? It's easy. It is easy. Boom, boom, boom. Just toss these around. Just toss them around. Just get them coated. Get them coated. Boom, boom, boom. Then I just grab a plate. Put these on here to get ready. That's it. Then I deep fry them. How easy was that? That's great. That's easy, right? Mm -hmm. Local, our own product, zucchini french fries. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, how long are you going to deep fry these for? So I deep fry these for about... Uh, you know, four to five minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I like to get the outside. The good thing about our crumbs is the outside gets really crispy, right? So it's really good. Uh, it's it's got a real good crunch to it. Okay, so the next thing. So I just wait here. We put these here. Next thing I want to move into is toasting our uh, our uh, breading for our white fish fillet. So okay. a little bit of panko, a little bit of coconut. So you could toast this in the oven or you could just put this on the stove. This is how I like to do it. I just like to let it sit here, move it around a bit. Once the pan gets super hot, it starts toasting on its own, okay. right? You don't want to keep it on there too long because it's going to get, uh, it'll burn on you. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to throw our local blueberries into here so we can start making our blueberry compote. So we take about a cup of blueberries, beautiful blueberries, eh? Mm -hmm. We use the rest of these chives. So just, just a fine chop, doesn't have to be uh, anything too sexy. Boom, 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 boom. Get it all in there. Bring it over in. This is just a compost that's going on top of our uh, filet once we're done. So as you can tell, the pan's getting hot now, eh, Brent? It, it is. Torin wants to know where the famous walk is today. Ah, Torin, the famous walk. I've been waiting for you to ask a question, Tornado. How's Kelly doing, by the way? <laughs> um, so anyway, where's the walk? We don't need the walk today, Tornado. So we're adding a little bit of maple syrup in there too, Brent. Okay. So we got the blueberries, we got the chives, we got the maple syrup. You just let this come to a boil, it does its thing. Okay, okay now that this thing's getting a little hot, that's starting to turn a little bit, right? Beautiful. Now we're sitting on set. Now we just... Now where's our fish? Where is our fish? <laughs> Where is our? It's been 24 hours, Miracle folks, and our television. fish has been marinating. Isn't that something? Yes. Okay, so here we go. Jay, have we talked to our our um, our viewers about white fish and what how wonderful it is. Most people don't know it's a member of the salmon family. Is it a part of the? So so why don't you tell them what the, what the white fish is? Well, white fish, as I said, it's a member of the salmon family, and in fact, it has more of the omega fatty acids in it. Those are those brain-building fatty acids that we all need. Wow. Uh, it has more of those fatty acids in it than salmon itself. So wow. So this it's a more is healthy fish. It is a healthier fish, and wow. it's, it's in abundance. It's not a fish that is uh, endangered. So it, it's certainly a, wow. a good, sustainable choice for people who are concerned about, um, you know, dealing with, with sustainable food and... and so here's a question. Mm -hmm. Why aren't people using white fish? Okay, as you saw, I just threw the, the zucchinis I in see, there. Yes. Right? I'm just dunking. Down they go. Bought a big bite. So why do you think people don't use white fish? Well, I don't think people know much about it. I think white fish traditionally has been something that people smoke. Right. And um, or throw back when they're out fishing. I know that's So they just did. don't think about it. They don't think about all they think about is we need the walleye 
and we need the perch, and we right. need the crappie. That's all they think about, right. you think? I think so, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So here at Freshwater Cuisine, we want to show you people all the different kinds of fish that we can use. And here it is here. Isn't this sexy? This has been sitting for 24 hours. Okay. This here. Okay, so now you're seeing. Now it's starting to turn a little bit brown. It's starting oh, to get I toasty, see. right? See that. The bottom. So what you want to do is you don't want it to sit on there too long because it's going to burn on you, right? So now if your pan's really hot, you just trying to mark. See how it's starting to go? I do. Turning colors. So you just let it go for a little bit here. Now that it's nice and hot, I just move it around and it's actually toasting itself nicely there. So, boom, boom, boom. Over here, let that do that thing. Look at the compote, Brent, it's starting to boil. The zucchinis are coming up nice. Now we've got the main event happening right main here. Main event, folks. The main event, folks. We have the main event. This is what, you know, this is what makes me really proud about freshwater cuisine, is that we do think outside the box. We use other fish. How beautiful is this, Brent? Look Lovely. at this. Isn't Look at that this. something? This is white fish that's been sitting for 24 hours in this marinade with local herbs, local maple syrup. This this is this is beyond phenomenal. This. So we're just gonna take three out. Okay. Wash my hands quick. Okay, look at that. The compote's coming together. The compote's actually almost done. I just want it to come together a little bit more. Okay. Boom, boom, done. Okay, now we take the uh, now we take our beautiful. Oh, are those beautiful? Look at that, Brent. Oh, let me, let me get a closer. Fries. Look at that, Cajun guys. zucchini fries. Okay, so now we just take the... Just take the tongs. Stir this up a bit. So now what I want to do is I just want to make a crust on this white fish. Okay. What I want to do is find a plate. Here we go. Here at Freshwater Cuisine, we have everything we need, even the 1970 plates. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our zucchini sticks are done. Fries are made. Look how, how fast is this all coming Very together, fast. right? Very fast. Okay, so here we go. I just put the uh, crust on the bottom here. Boom, 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 just like that. I give this a quick rinse because I'm going to use it again. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Take my trusty little... Chef, isn't that hot? Isn't that burning in your hands? Nope. Okay, boom. Grab some olive oil. I set this down to about five, Brent. Okay. I don't want to burn my, uh, because we're using olive oil, and because we're using fish and we're using coconut, I don't want to burn my, burn the outside of my, uh, I want to make it caramelized, but I don't want to burn it, right? right? Okay, look at this. This is, this is compote is beautiful. That's coming together. It's starting to get thick, all nice, right? Bada bing, bada boom. That's probably another two minutes. Okay. We've got our oil going here. Chef, now we do this. Chef, we've got some of our own fishermen watching this right now. Really? Our own Lake of the Woods fishers. Wow, yes. isn't that nice? Hi guys, how you doing? Okay, so, boom. Coconut roasted crust that's been marinating in maple. How easy is this? Very easy. Boom, 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 right? We're getting that. Oh, that's hot. Okay, boom. We're moving on, Brent. Okay. Boom, how nice is that? I love the sound of that. Mm -hmm. How's it smelling in here, boys? Good. Good. That's it. How beautiful is that, Very right? Nice. Boom, nice. our compote's coming together. Compost. That's done. Oh. That goes over there. We turn off the heat. Okay. This this is how fast fish, man. This is it. Boom, flip it over. So how long are you for our, for our, our viewers out here? How long are you cooking that fish? This is going to be on here for about three minutes or less. And that's it, eh? That's it. That is beautiful. You know what that is? That's called water. <laughs> okay, let's get our sexy, put this over here. Let's get our sexy bowl that we always use because mm -hmm. I like to use the sexy bowl. You know how I am. Boom, isn't that nice? Move that around a little bit more. Oh man, that smells beautiful, doesn't it? Torn wants to know if we're so smart because we've been eating white fish. This is true, right, Jay? We're are we so smart because we're eating white fish? Yeah, because of all that brain boosting fatty acid. I think that's the reason for it. I would like to think so. Okay, how long was that? A couple minutes. Not even, eh? Nope. Not Boom, even. turning it off. That's it, folks. That is absolutely it Let's on the get white a fish. Up on this, Chef. Look at that. Look that's at it, that. eh? Isn't that beautiful? That's it. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna plate now. Grab mm -hmm. our. Uh... Do you want your helper for that plate? Yeah, show? hey, hey, where's my helper? There he is. Come here, buddy. Okay, so we got Axel on site. Hi, everybody. 
Okay, we're gonna move this so we don't make a mess. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that, isn't that? That's absolutely beautiful. Okay, we're gonna take these and put them onto here. Okay, so Axel, what I want you to do, I'm gonna get these on here, okay? I'm gonna put these in here, and what you're gonna do for me, is you're gonna, oops, watch your little buddy. Okay, so what you're gonna do, is I want you to just put these in here like this, okay? Just put them in here. Look, how nice are these, Brent? Well, they're very nice. You can do that, eh? Hey, there you go, buddy. Nice That's it, job, boom, buddy. right in there like that. Mm, I love our crust. Boom. <laughs> hey, we got a new chef on board. We have a chef on board. This is absolutely amazing. This fish is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful axle, good job. Let's just keep it in the middle like that. Boom, boom, boom. Beauty, nice, bud. Nice job, buddy. Okay, one more. Bada bing, bada boom, eh? Take this sexy filet. How sexy is that, Brent? Beautiful. Oh my Beautiful. god, eh? What do you think of that, Axel? Does it look good? Yes, Boom. it does. Beautiful. Then we take the. This is this is this is amazing. Look at this. And local, remind, us, remind us what's in that compo. Again. Local blueberry compo. We got local chives. We got local maple syrup. We're just giving it a little stir. This is going right on top like this. Nice. This is going right on top like this. Boom. Boom. Very good. Doesn't Over it? here we got some sexy. We're gonna take some of these sexy chives, these radishes I should say. We're gonna put this on top like this. This is our little garnishio. Holy man, eh? Isn't that? That is beautiful. That is past your place. Okay, so the other thing that I never said that we had, which uh, I am very honored to be, uh, very honored to be sharing right now, mm -hmm. is my wife Julie's amazing secret sauce and oh, it's got to stay a secret nobody yeah. can know what's going in here but this is an amazing secret sauce that my beautiful wife julie came up with okay. uh it is good for dipping maybe in later episodes i'll let people know what's in there right what's the base is it a mayonnaise the base, base? is a mayonnaise it's it like is? an aioli okay. okay boom look at that okay so here we have it folks this is an underutilized undervalued fish that for whatever single reason if you want, you know what I love to do? Just throw a couple of these in here for oh, color, yeah, right? Absolutely. Boom, 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 boom. Here we have it. We have the zucchini fries in our Cajun breading. We have the white fish marinated in maple dressing, crusted coconut with a beautiful blueberry local compote and my sexy wife, Julie's. <laughs> sexy? Did I just say sexy? You did. Sexy wife, Julie's <laughs> uh, amazing dip. Folks, you're missing the boat if you're not calling us here at Freshwater Cuisine to get hooked up with fish. Next week, what are we going to do next week? Next week? I don't know, Jay. What are we doing next week? Tornado, are you back next week? I think next week we're going to move into, uh, we're going to stay with whitefish. Okay. And I think we're going to do the one that me and you did at the boathouse, Brent. I think we're going to do the oh. whitefish steak. Well, that's a great idea. Yeah, so we're going to do a whitefish steak. I think we're going to stuff it with some kind of fish. Actually, you know what? You're going to have to stay tuned and uh, find out next week what we do. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited that we used whitefish. I'm very excited that the kids were here. Oh, Torrin, I'm very excited that it's your birthday. Very excited that Brent Lundy was on the camera. Thank you. And, folks, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you, Jay.